the Cadex Walksnail system finished with the release of the new Ascent system, or are they going to complement each other moving forwards? And ultimately, which one should you buy? And what does that mean for the future of the hobby? That's what we're going to answer right now. Here is the big question. What should you get today? Do you spend the $359 and get this new system, which in my opinion, doesn't perform as well, but is newer and has some potential for some great upgrades in the future, like on what they're going to develop in a product line, or do you use the older technology, which is going to today give you a better image, better, better penetration, better latency, but then you don't know what the future is. You, you do, this is the thing. You don't know the future of either of these product lines. You don't know what they're going to be doing. So welcome to FPV for the price of 300 digital FPV for the price of $349. Cadex though, you have a bit of an issue with the rest of the community. The marketing team behind Cadex, the company has a bit of work to do because the market, Cadex is making some great stuff. They have done some amazing things for a hobby. We would not have DJI and the Goggles N3 at such a cheap price point if we didn't have Cadex really aggressively selling these in the past for $199. The, the Goggles N3 would not exist at the price level they do unless these did see but they dropped the ball in terms of communication, in terms of they often overpromise and under deliver on their features. They develop products, but they're not always the ones that they tell us this is what it's going to be like. So I guess in this situation, I'm fortunate to say, hey, here's the, here's the thing, like this is what it does, but I don't know what that means in the future for Cadex. They've, they've talked about the Avatar Warp Snail V2 system and what that means for its existing users. I don't know. What are, they going to, what are they going to do with that system? Are they going to develop both of these? Cadex does not have a track record of always following through on its promises for the community. They make great stuff, but it is sort of take what you have now and everything that is recommended or might be coming is going to be with a grain of salt. In terms of like the upgradable Goggles X, we still haven't heard anything. And I think that's like two years, two years old, right? So we haven't heard anything there. What are those Goggles X users going to think? when like, hey, we've got, there's a new product here. Now, thankfully for them and the entire people who are already using the Avatar system, and this goes for like Stickman Steve, who was flying around, he flies Avatar as his, he flies Walk Snail as his main system. Would he switch over and fly this? No, you've already got this. This system is a new system, which is only beating the other systems on a crazy price. Everything else at the moment, I like, on the other systems. HD0 has got it all over it in terms of latency. DJI has the absolute best picture quality but struggles with like stock stock levels. You've got the walk snail system, which kind of like has good stock, has pretty decent video, but latency isn't good as HD0. And now we have this system, which is just, let's face it, insanely cheap. So with also some potential for future upgrades and future developments, but who knows when that's going to happen. So Cadex needs to be really careful about what it is that they bring forward and talk about to the community with their, with their clarifications. Don't just show us what you have. You can maybe have some ideas of things you'd like to do, but don't sell them as definites. This is what's going to be happening. The marketing compartment of Cadex does a bad job at putting so much pressure on what the system can actually do. Let's see those results first before they, before they start talking about it too much. Don't count your chickens before they, they hatch. I think that's a, that's a saying. If they do, I'm, I'm going to be mega upset. It would ruin my entire FPV experience. Two pairs of gobble, goggles obsolete back to back. What do you mean, PJ? This is a great question. What do you mean back to back? Your walk snail system is better than this system. So why would your goggles be obsolete? Lewis is saying, they say they hope Cadex doesn't discontinue the walks now. Yeah, that would be an absolute shame. And that would be a massive problem. If Cadex, this would be, in my opinion, really bad of them to say, we're not going to make walks now products anymore. We're not going to develop it, in, it anymore. Now I have heard things of like the Cadex GT2, 
I think it is, or like a Moonlight 2 or something. And I, I haven't heard anything of the Avatar V2. So I, I really hope that this system doesn't eat all the resources of the first system. Which, but in its defense, that first system is still, I don't know how many, like four years, four years old. I, just, I guess I just want to make it really clear. I have no allegiance to CADEX. I want what's best for you guys. I, I think they need to absolutely be held accountable for what they do as well moving forward in the future. I hope that they have both of these. And we need to, CADEX's word doesn't mean as much as it did at the start. Like they have, they have uh, not come through with some of their other prompt promises. So the product that you get is not always the product that they say they're going to deliver as well. Is there plans to expand the offerings to a lower cost VTX option for DIY builds or stay integrated as a package? The, as far as I know, the Ascent system is currently only in the Protoss, but with plans to move this to other, like just to be a standalone VTX. So, hey, you can go and buy this if you, if you would like to. When you are developing things, you can, you can develop two products and take the advantages and the technology and some things that you learn and still apply that. Let's say a really easy example. Here's a really intuitive, easy to use menu system that, wow, that's a hundred times better than what we originally had. And we've developed that for, let's say for our new system. Let's just also put that menu system into our new, into our old systems as well. So we, we see that quite a lot with brands and especially with technology.